Hello, welcome to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Right here I have the Circuit Mess Artemis. This is my very first smartwatch on this channel. I usually don't do smartwatches, but this is kind of more of a little gadget really than a watch. And so I decided this is fun with watches and this seemed kind of fun. So let's go ahead and do a review. But I'm not going to do a full review on this one because it'll just take too long. So I'm just going to do a partial review. It's time for fun with watches with your friend, the watchdog. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. It's time for fun with watches. Let's start with the wrist check. I'm wearing this Cadison C8244. This is the watch that Jody won't review because it looks too much like the watch Grogu's wearing, which is the Spinnaker Bradner. Grogu said that Princess Leia reopened the course on opera, and they were rehearsing for Porkins and Bass, but noticed that bad things were happening to the cast. The princess sent Carson Tiva to investigate, and he found Palpatine wearing a mask playing the organ. He was the Phantom Menace of the opera. All right, let's take a look at the watch. Here's the box it came in. And here it is. When I reached out to Circuit Mess to see if they would send me a watch, they said the best they could do was a $50 coupon. But when I used the coupon, it was $50 off the full MSRP of $129. Circuit Mess is now selling it for $99. So in actuality, I only got a $20 discount. But I'll still mark it as sponsored since I did the unboxing and marked it as sponsored. This is the first smartwatch on my channel, but this really isn't your typical smartwatch as it is more of a doohickey than a smartwatch. And you aren't going to be tracking your heart rate or steps or any of that typical Fitbit kind of thing. This doesn't even look like a typical watch and instead looks like something somebody put together in their spare time in an engineering lab and has a complete unwatch-like shape and dimensions. However, like most smartwatches, you can pair this watch with your phone, and if you happen to have an iPhone, you can simply pair it with Bluetooth and everything just works. But if you're like me, and in the Android world, things aren't so simple, and you have to use the Bangle.js app to connect your Android, which requires you to give it permission to do absolutely everything to your phone, and gave me a bad feeling about the whole thing. Plus, even though this pairing was enough for my phone to set the time, little else worked. The watch has kind of an awkward shape. It's 66 millimeters wide, which is officially the widest watch I've ever reviewed. But it's only 43 millimeters lug to lug. It's 15.2 millimeters thick. Has a 26 millimeter lug width. And weighs 49 grams on the supplied canvas strap. So normally I tell you what the bezel is, but this watch has no bezel. And then I normally tell you the dial. Well, this is a, this dial is an LCD display and it's backlit. And as you can see, there's the time, 650, and there's no running seconds though, which is kind of irritating. Then on the right, it you have the little phone signal. That means that I'm paired with my phone, which I am. And on the left is the power indicator. And there's different themes you can use. And also there's the date underneath. Then on the left here, we have all the circuitry. And then we have a USB-C for charging. And then we have the on off button, which is also kind of the okay button. And then we have this little lever here. If you well, right now I don't have any messages. If I had some messages for my phone, this would send me to message mode. And unfortunately, I can't force a message because it's been very inconsistent. Sometimes the messaging works and sometimes it doesn't. Once again, I have an Android. I think if I had an iPhone, there would be no problem whatsoever because I think this is designed to work with an iPhone and the Android, you have to use the app which isn't really designed for this watch it's designed for the bangle smart watch okay when you press this button here it puts you into select mode and then we have a find my phone the find my phone you have to set up the phone to work with it 
every time I try to use it, I get a whole bunch of alerts on my phone telling me what to do to, to make it work. And it seems really complicated and I don't want to deal with it. Hit this button again and we have Lunar Lander, which is just a basic little game. Uh, I don't want to show you how to use it. And then this is a level. You can uh, make the watch level. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. So you can set this on the table and see if the table's level. But then again, you'd have to take it off the strap. And then, I don't know what this is. This is some kind of sound thing. I don't want to bother learning. This tells you that the phone's connected to the Bluetooth. That's about all it does. And this controls a little Rover robot you can buy for about 300 bucks. I didn't buy the $300 Rover, obviously. And here are the settings. So press this button. Then you can toggle between 24 hour format and one annoying thing about it, though, is when you aren't in 24-hour format, if you're, it doesn't give you an AM, PM indicator on the main display. It does give you an AM, PM up here when you're in the setting mode, but not on the main display. Then we have different themes. Right now, I'm in the 1UP theme, and my montage was in the default theme. And then another fun one here is Arcade. See, there's the arcade theme. So there's several themes, so you can set it to something fun. A lot better than the default, anyway. So let's go back to set mode. Then you can set the date format. You can toggle between day, month, year to month, day, year. Then you can actually set the time and the date if you don't pair it with your phone. And like I said, if you have an Android pairing with your phone, it's kind of annoying. And then you can toggle whether or not there's sound. And then you can set the brightness. And the LED enable, there's these little LED lights around here. I thought at first it meant the backlight, but no, it's not the backlight. There's these little, here, let me go ahead and toggle it. I don't know if you can see the lights. See? All right. Then the sleep time. This is the time that the watch goes to sleep. Right now I have it set to one minute. I think the default was 30 seconds. And this is a smartwatch, so it does use power when it's not in sleep mode. And tilt the wake. So basically when it's asleep, if this is on, all you have to do is go like this and then it turns on. Then you notice that it went to sleep e right away, even though I didn't. it didn't wait that long. So it also... Not only does it tilt the wake, it tilts the sleep. And that's about all you have to set. There's also ways to, uh, there's also ways to program this watch and make apps for it. I'm not going to go over that. And I don't, on all honesty, I don't know why you would want to do it. If you want to learn how to make apps, you'd be probably better off learning how to make apps for your phone than for a device that most people don't have. But if you do like to tinker, it would be, it looks like it's fairly simple to do. But we're not going to go over that. But uh, if you buy this watch, there's links to different YouTube videos on how to use it. And I'll, I'll go ahead and leave those links in the description of this video. So you can look at the videos if you want. The strap is nylon and it's Velcro. It has a NASA logo on it. I would assume it's licensed. I don't know though. And it's fairly simple. Once again, these are 26 millimeter lugs, but if you were to put a 24 millimeter strap in there, it wouldn't look too bad. Um, but if you put a 22 or 20 in there, and there might there's going to be quite a bit of gap. So I don't know if you want to do that. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. Uh, it's awkward. It's it's once again it's 66 millimeters. 
Oh, I also didn't mention before, there is a left-hand mode, which basically turns the display upside down if you want to wear it on your right hand. And if you go with the strap itself, if I let it all the way out, I can get three fingers underneath. So I'm not going to give this the Joe Haynes Silver approval. Not that that really applies to this watch anyway. There's no sense going into the loom room. This watch has a backlit LCD display, so you will be able to see it just fine in any darkness. So there's really no point of that. What do I like about this watch? Well, it's unique and weird. I do like the auto tilt that wakes it up. The strap's nice. It's fun. has the NASA on it. And I like the different fun themes, like the arcade theme I'm using right now. What are my grapes and groans? Awkward shape. It's 66 millimeters wide, and that's just, it just feels funny on the wrist. The Android support's been pretty bad. You can't hook it up to your phone directly. You have to use the bangle.js app. And that app is designed for a bangle smartphone and not this phone. And so some of the support, the alerts and stuff like that hasn't been working consistently. And there's no seconds on the main display. So I don't know why they didn't do that. There's plenty of room for it. Do I recommend this watch? If you want something to tinker with and you have an iPhone, then you might want to give this a try. However, if you just want a smart watch and you own an Android, you might want to give this one a pass. And especially if you if you want to learn how to make apps and stuff, you might be better off trying to learn to make apps for your phone. Thank you for watching my partial review of the Circuit Mess Artemis, and I'll be back with another review. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this watch, I don't have an affiliate with uh, Circuit Mess, but I'll leave you a link anyway and tell them you saw it on Fun With Watches. And I think they make one more watch. and You never know, maybe they would send that to me for free. And I will leave links to the how-to videos on how to use this watch and how to program this watch in the description. And I'd like to thank my Members' Choice members. Last time I looked, there was 11 of you, and the Members' Choice watch has arrived. And it looks like most of you have seen the video, the unboxing. And if you are not a member and want to see the unboxing, be sure to join and you can see it. But everyone gets to see the review, but members get a week-long head start. Bye.